Hello, this is Jeannie, and I'm here with a haul video. I have purchased some things from a variety of places and thought I would share them with you. Um, the very first thing I'm going to share, though, I think a lot of you have probably seen this, the uh, sticker book Bibliophilia. Philia? Am I saying that right? I Maybe not. Anyway, every a uh, lot of people have already shown this on here so I'm not going to do a flip through but this is the newest sticker book and I um, saw it on Dee Dee Willingham's channel. She had first shared it and I went and uh, picked it up right away. But uh, really cool stickers and what I like about it is when you have finished all the stickers you have these pages in between that you could paint, ink up, do mixed media with. I think that would be a cool idea to, uh, you ever used all those stickers? That's a lot of stickers though, don't you think? So I picked that up from Amazon. And then um, the other thing that I did was uh, I saw I was on the email list for Peachy Keen. They have come back out with um, their stamps. And one of the ones that they had just put out was called the Gingerbread Doll Die and Face Stamp Set. It's PKSD009. And they were had already sold out of them, but they had a, a, a second set coming. So, um, But I was able to get on right away and uh, take a look. And uh, I was very interested in it. So here's the... Here's the little faces. It comes with six faces, and then you also have the die. And these little gingerbread are probably about two and a half inches, almost two and a half inches tall. And there's, you know, other little uh, accents to go with it, including, you know, their little frosting and, and things like that. So I picked that up. And actually, let's see. Let me show you the whole picture here. So there's the whole set. Very cute. Can't wait to, to try them out. Love all the little different uh, set uh, hats for uh, Christmas time. And uh, so I picked that up and that came this week. Actually, I shouldn't say this week, came last week. <laughs> uh, the next thing is I, uh, my friend, my culture friend had called me and was going to be in town. She lives about an hour away from uh, me and she likes to go up to Lancaster to go to a, um, a reuse it shop up there and I went with her and last couple times I've been I have not found stamps up there like my Lancaster friend up there Tina does but I found an I found a few and I was mainly looking for um, Christmas stamps so I did find what I kind of what I was looking for this one's uh, from Hot Off the Press. It's 2002, and it's a cute little stocking, and it says, By the Chimney with Care is the Little Sentiment. Looks like it's, well, obviously it's never been used. <laughs> so I picked that up. And I also found, this is uh, Once Upon a Time by My Favorite Things. And this was $4.00. But uh, you can read all those sentiments there. Um, the cool thing about this, I have two granddaughters, and I can see using this for them. Uh, the only thing is I need to see if I can find if there's still a die for this. So, and I'm not sure. I don't think there's a, there's not a year on this, so I'm not sure when this was made. But obviously never been used for four bucks. And then I also found... This beautiful stamp by Stempendus. Again, it looks like it's never been used. $1.50. And this one was called Nativity Christmas. And it's a 2014 Stampendus set. So I picked that up because I do not have any nativity. That's a beautiful nativity silhouette. So pick that up. And then I found this. I actually was going to buy this on eBay. And... Uh, I don't know. I bought a few things on eBay and the shipping has gone up again. And so shipping is really kind of getting expensive. And when you tack that onto the price of the item, I was very fortunate though. This item 
this from the reuse it shop only costs five dollars but when i've seen it on ebay it goes for a lot more plus you're paying for the shipping now i realize we drove all the way up there but twofold my my friend is a quilter so she goes up there to find fabric and that works out great so i found this set it looks like it's hardly been used and this one is called Sensational Season. That. And then I picked this one up. This is a Simon Says stamp. And uh, this is Love is Patient, Love is Kind. So this is a um, Bible. It says Love is the Background. Six by six stamp set. So I picked that up. I like that for the idea of using it for a background. It's a beautiful um, Bible verse. I found this one. This one is called Warm Words. And I'm trying to see what year. I don't... Oh, 2006. Sorry. I just missed all the um, year. I actually have uh, words that are a little bit longer. And uh, it's one word. Most of these are one word. There's only a couple. That one, that's two words. But uh, I saw this little set and thought that would be cute to have in my stamping area four bucks and then I also picked up this is a stamp from a shop on eBay I used to collect um, precious moments and this particular set it says uh, 1995 by Stampendous and God Sent His Best is the name. It's UR002. And it is a big stamp, as you can see. It is pretty, pretty, pretty big. And it was clean. looked really nice. It's going to be fun to color. And I picked that up. I have a couple other um, Precious Moment stamps that I also picked up, but they've looted me. And I, I'm not sure if I've shared them or not, but if... Uh, if I, when I find them, I put them away already, <laughs> I will uh, have to share those. Anyway, I found um, this set as well. This is Marilyn's Fault. Marilyn here on YouTube. She has been sharing her love of wood stamps of late. And uh, I saw this particular set that she mentioned she got. And I thought, I love this set. I have no idea what year it is. There's nothing on it, but it comes with a variety of things that you can put in the basket, like, you know, Christmas, this is Christmas, and Easter, if I can get that glare out of there. This one is for uh, sewing or crafting, uh, fiber, fiber, frat, fabric, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, this one is for uh, the gardener. That primitive little angel and then of course fall and the sentiment oh and actually if you had something else you wanted to use in the basket it also had the two little pieces that um, you can put over here and then the sentiment is wishing you baskets of happiness and I believe there is another sentiment I got to be on the hunt for that to see if I can find it but um, that is it for me today. I appreciate you looking, and uh, I will see you again. Have a great, great Thursday. Bye.